Hello YouTube, I have something a little different for you today. Usually, you know, it's crafting strats, build guides and whatnot, but this time it's something that I haven't done in a long time and that's push XP per hour. I wouldn't normally be like, oh, this is like actually interesting content, but the XP per hour is so ridiculous that I'm pretty sure it's literally more than 5 A's right now, especially since they nerf 5A XP by nerfing rares. And I think this is super important to share. I understand that there is a chance it gets nerfed after I share it, but I mean, listen, I would rather share it than keep it for myself and abuse it to level my characters. At least, hopefully some of you will enjoy it for a day or two if it gets nerfed. If not, we'll see. I mean, it technically works exactly as intended, but uh, we'll see how GG reacts to it when they actually see it optimized. So, what are we actually doing? Well, we are building our maps around Domination Scarab of Teachings which grants a 30% increase XP gained for every single shrine you have. So you can have five, six shrines, suddenly triple XP. Then we also use unusual shrine. This could be replaced by something else, like a normal domination scarab maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, I found this really nice because sometimes it gives you gloom shrine, resonating shrine. Those shrines are pretty good. And then our atlas is breach. And we are adding a bunch of breaches and domination on map device to actually head enough shrines. Our atlas is pretty simple. We have Nico for speed and damage and safety. We have a lot of shrine stuff and breeze stuff. Nothing else really, a few boxes and map effect. That's it. Nothing too complicated, but I have, uh, I've tried it out for myself and I got more XP in one hour of mapping than the entire day. I have the, tried it on other people to just see how fast it is at low levels. I will make sure to include that in the video at the end. And I just want to say that uh, it is also really fun. You're literally just closing your eyes, blasting with shrines and breach. And honestly, the breach density nowadays is really, really good, even though the loot is like mediocre. But that said, I actually was dropping a decent amount of scarabs. I kind of regret not clicking a few scarab nodes. Uh, surprisingly enough, breach was okay. We also dropped a Valde box within like five maps. When we were in a duo, so there is that. And uh, the total cost per map, uh, I'm pretty sure the Breach Scarabs are 1C each. The Domination Scarab of Teaching was like 3C each. And uh, this one was also 1C. So in total, it ended up being like 3, 6, 9C per map. And you you definitely get that back per, you know, like Breach Splinters and whatnot. So, you know, you, you, you're not really losing money. And you drop enough stuff that that is not a problem. But I cannot overstate how insane the XP is. If anyone has been on 99, this XP is now decayed. Uh, I show it in the footage. Uh, I was averaging over 200 mil XP per hour. That is unheard of at 99, especially as like solo. And my build's not even good for this. That's the weirdest part. Like my build is okay, but imagine I was like an Ignite build or a Tornado Shot. Well, LA, I guess, or LA hit. Dead Eye, anything that actually clears the screen well, you could literally level to nine, from 99 to 100 within an hour, which is crazy. My build sucks, so it takes like an hour and a half or two hours, but you know what? Highly recommend this if you just want to level a few, few times, or if you are leveling a new character, you should actually be able to handle this strategy because of all the shrine buffs and the Nico buffs. I mean, if you have any decent gear, you will probably be completely fine doing this on like a level 80 character and just leveling yourself to high 90s within an hour or two. And yeah, I hope this helps people. I hope uh, you guys enjoy this. I know it's a little different from the content I usually do, but I just couldn't keep it for myself. I had to share it with you. And uh, I hope people find this useful. And if not, I hope you at least enjoyed the blasting and I will see you guys tomorrow. And I mean, my character's probably gonna be 100 by the next video. It is what it is because, uh, you know, I'm gonna turn off the stream, turn off the YouTube recording and go blast some maps for an hour or two and just hit 100 real quick. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please leave some likes, leave some comments, subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a lot more content over this league. I'm gonna be playing like 20 plus builds. I'm going to be making guide content. I'm going to be making uh, crafting content. Anything you want to see, just make sure to let me know in the, dis uh, in the comments. And that's going to be it. Enjoy the showcase. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, so I got a extra person with me just to showcase the XP. It's a level 68, just kill Kitava. Keep this in inventory. If you die, just re-enter. Uh, domination, breach scarabs, domination, domination, influence, that's good. 
we go together for shrines. Let's see how this goes. So you're starting at level 68. Shrine 1. Shrine 2. Okay, we can start opening. I hope he can somewhat keep up with me. He already leveled once. That's pretty good. Okay, he seems pretty fast. We should be fine here. Shrine 3. There's an abyss. And more shrines. Oh, nice. We got the, the good shrine. I'm not gonna call up the corpses to not slow him down for no reason. I don't wanna waste his time. I'm gonna run five miles with him, but I'm probably only gonna show you guys the first and the last, just so you guys can see his progress. In, uh, I mean, you will see the timer down here, right? We started at like 22:13, so you will be able to tell how long it took and what level he got to. I would show it on my XP bar, but I feel like it's more relatable when you actually see someone gain levels than just XP at 99. So it's not everyone knows how slow 99 can be, but yeah. These are the maps, and uh, this is pretty much how they will look for these five maps. I would say I'm not looting too much, I'm only looting big items because I don't want to slow him down and waste his time. But uh, it is still a very, very good strat. So that was map number one. And the last map. Mom number 5, 10 minutes later. I mean, you can see he is already level 80 at the start of the map. He started at uh, 68. So, let's do the last map. He got a little more efficient at this now since uh, he is uh, tracking better with me. Okay, again, we pick up shrines and then we go back for the bridge later. He's actually really good at following and his boat is tanky, which is nice. Okay, let's go back to the breaches. Definitely makes it a lot easier that he is actually following well. But honestly, I feel like because of the shrines and the Nico Sulfide buffs, you could easily do this on a fresh character if you have like already some gear. Or, okay, not fresh character, obviously. But if you already have gear, you could do this on like a level 75 character and just level up super quickly for yourself. And honestly, I mean, even if you do it on a level 90 character, you still level up super fast. I'm getting over 200 mil at 99, which for, uh, you know, just for comparison, it would take me two hours to get from 99 star to 100. And by the time you see this video, I might already be 100 because it takes a little bit to render. <laughs> this strat is, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And it's one of the best XP I have seen in maps since okay that i was gonna say since forever and then i remembered about the affliction abyss xp but still i actually think this is more xp than abyss because you don't have to waste time looting i think this actually might be more not sure it's it's somewhere in there though if you consider looting time this is comparable I'm gonna loot that. I don't know if that has any value, but just in case it does. I don't want to get yelled at that you left it on the ground. So, oh, I forgot to pick up that shrine. He hit 82. So that's what, 14 levels in about 10 minutes or so? Oh, that shield. I mean, I think the strat is pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed this little showcase and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you find this content helpful. I will give him a divine for his time because I hate wasting people's time and I'm glad that he was able to join me for this. So thanks to Putin for taking part in that. And let's open the Valder Puzzle Box because of course we dropped it in the showcase map so I have to show it to what happens. And it's a full dancing dervish, so we lost. Anyways, if you enjoyed the videos, please like, subscribe, comment. It helps a lot. 
And yeah, this is the story how putting God 14 levels in 10 minutes. Bye everyone, have a good one.